Yo, top, what's good? Yo, top, what it do, man? It's your boy Photo, and we back, man. Like we never left. Anyway, man, what's good, man? It's a bright day, man. It's a bright day, man. Finally, I don't know if I'm late or not, cause you know your boy don't be looking at dates or nothing. But um, finally, man. We get some information on NBA 2K18, man. Finally, it, the, we 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 already got like the, the 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 jerseys and the ratings. That's all cool, but finally we get somebody that plays my part out to test the game out and bring us back some information, man. If you didn't know, man, your boy Annoying TV finally got a chance to get out there and get his hands on NBA 2K18, and he came back. And drop the gems on the kid. Yes, he did. So, without further ado, man, let's listen and see what he got to say. Then we're going to discuss it as he goes along, okay? I'm going to try not to hold y'all too much time, you know what I'm saying? Keep putting too much into it. But I really want this to be a real good discussion. So, let's get right into it and we'll pause where we need to, all right? Let's. I almost said it like Fredo. Let's get into it, man. What's good everybody on YouTube? Before I get to discussing the shot meter, I think a lot of people were having problems about what I meant by actually dribbling with no stamina. So as you guys can see right here, I'm going to show you a quick example. You guys see how he's just spamming the ball till he gets ankle breakers. First off, ankle breakers are reduced in NBA 2K18, so you will not break as much ankles as you will see, okay? Another thing is, this is what I meant by abusing the stamina meter. You guys see how he's dribbling for literally the whole entire shot clock without losing a drip of stamina. Now, that that's really, that was one in the animations that was it still in uh, my part that, you know, they didn't call files. They just let you go in through the animation. But that was one of my biggest gripes about 2K17. That was that was pretty much almost it. It wasn't like a lot, but that was just the most thing, where the most important thing, where they sit up there. But I, I honestly believed that um, it was like that because the setting on my part is low, like superstar. I'm not like... It's like all star. It's it's the like the second from the highest difficulty. So I think that's why your stamina went down or whatever. You had higher ankle breaker success. But anyway, that was my only real gripe about 2K17 was like if you playing in the park, you got two people that stand over here, and then you it wouldn't it didn't it wasn't based off of uh, anything. He just dribbled till you fail. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what it felt like. And that was my biggest gripe. Hearing that they tightened it up and just made less ankle breaker success or probably put a system with it i could probably dig it i can dig it and nba 2k18 when you dribble like this your stamina will go so much quicker now i know most of you guys in the comment section you're, you're like oh he's not hitting turbo he's not hitting r2 he's not hitting rt it doesn't matter dribbling is dribbling and this was an exploit in nba 2k17 i agree you will not be able to abuse your stamina meter like that everything will be nearly the same now on to the shot meters as you guys can see right here you guys can see you guys know how in nba 2k17 that there's a distance meter like you're able to tell your shot distance by the little shot meter in nba 2k18 that is removed so you guys are not going to know your range based off a of shot meter the shot meter only pops up when you shoot in, in NBA 2K18, you're not going to see your shot meter until you take a jump shot. Many people think this is controversial. Me and me, me and my opinion, I like it. And greens are much harder to get. Now, speaking about green releases, I wanted to talk to you guys about this. This will be the exact jump shot in NBA 2K18. I redrew it from NBA 2K18 as much as I could possible. And this is what it will be looking like. Just like this, you guys. Now, I... The reason why I think this is pretty cool if the shot meter comes up on the side like that, because I find myself like even though some people like actually went took the time and practice and know they shot, like you find yourself looking at the ground trying to get the, trying to get the bar right versus trying to get the jump shot right. And at the end of 2K17, I finally got it right. Like I was like, okay, I need to get the jump shot right. Then I can get the line the bar up. It was pretty much easier. But now the bar is where you're shooting. 
that that just makes it a little bit more easy. I I like this concept, guys. I like it. I can agree with this. What y'all think in the comment section? You will have a red shot meter, a blue shot meter, and a purple shot meter. Now, other YouTubers were kind of explaining it wrong. I'm going to kind of explain it to you guys a little bit more in detail. Okay. If you get an excellent release, which is a green, it will always be green. There's, there, there's no other color but green for a perfect release. But in NBA 2K18, you're able to change the color of your white release. So when you shoot a jump shot, the white release will be... We could change the white release color to magenta, cyan, red, oh, or team color. Okay. okay, I see what so you're saying. So for team color, let's say if I'm using Golden State, I can change it to that Golden State yellow. You, you understand what I'm saying? If I use the Toronto Raptors, I can change it to the Toronto Toronto Raptors purple. Okay, I think it's a pretty cool feature to use, and this is what I mean by the um by how the jump shot meter will look like. Most of you guys were thinking that I was referring to NBA Live. When I said the shot is on the side of your head, that is not true at all. Okay, um, this is how it will be looking like. It's much more smaller, much more sharp. I personally like it. I got adjusted to it after, after the first, after the first jump shot. I got adjusted to it. But the thing is, I know you, you guys saw my tweets and I stated that you are not. Um, there was no shot meter. The thing is, I couldn't, I couldn't recognize it. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't recognize that there was a shot meter. But in, after like the second quarter, I finally saw it that it was popped up on the side of your head, okay? And it's actually not bad, okay? Most people think that it's bad. It's not bad at all. Trust me, you guys are going to adjust to it pretty quickly. In my opinion, you might not even need the shot meter because you're not going to be able to tell. I remember in the NBA 2K17, how everybody would just rely about looking about the base and underneath your mob player to shoot the jump shot. That's That was my issue. Like I just, I'm just looking at the... The base up, up under the, um, the my player. But he explained it pretty good. You know what I'm saying? He explained it pretty good. I, I, I got a clear vision of what I'm expecting it to look like. And like I said, I like it up so I can focus on the release and the actual jump shot better. I I, 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 I can't disagree. Um, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't recommend to look at your jump shot meter in NBA 2K18. Okay, there is a jump shot meter, but I would not recommend to look on the side of your head while shoot, you know what I'm saying, while playing or shooting the ball. All right. But like I said before, that's a noticeable difference is that you cannot you cannot tell the distance of your jump shot. Like your meter doesn't get smaller when you're far out and your meter does not get bigger when you're in. Your jump shot meter only pops up when you shoot the ball, which I, I like a lot. And that's just some noticeable difference about NBA 2K18. You guys got me to 10,000 likes. I hope I explained it well. For the most part, like I said about dribbling and etc., it's about the same, okay? The dribbling is about the same, and um, it's just the fact that it's more polished, like I said. Like, you can't abuse dribble exploits. Like I said, you can't. You can spam, but you're going to run out of stamina quicker when you spam. So you're not going to be able to chain your combos as, as much as you could in NBA 2K17, which I like a lot. Another thing that's noticeable was that um, in NBA 2K18, you don't miss dunks as frequently. There's no layup meter at all, and there's no dunk meter at all. So that's one thing I definitely liked about the game was that there was no dunk meter, no layup meter. I really like that a lot simply because of the fact that... It was just pointless to me, okay? It was pointless to me. The defense has improved in the paint. As I said before, they have removed the L2 blocking foul slash charging foul. So when you run into somebody like really hard in NBA 2K17, it will usually call um, a blocking foul or charge foul. But in NBA 2K18, they have removed that. So when you run into somebody, it's not it's not any animation that makes you lose the ball as much or any animation okay. that causes a foul call to be called. The steal success has been reduced. And I know you guys want to talk about um about badges. I did not notice any new badges in the game. As you guys can see right here, the player card menu is the exact same for when it pops up in um, NBA 2K17. Like The way it looks is the exact same. Okay. Now, I have no problem with it looking the exact same. That's pretty cool with me. I, I can respect that. Because I, you know, I'm one of them people. I, I, I enjoy change and gameplay, but with the familiarity, like the option menus or whatever. Oh, I think I believe they all should stay the same, bro. I mean, why change? Why switch it up, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's only like switching the graphic. It's cool, and I think it gave them more time to actually work on the gameplay. 
I fuck with it 100%. I, I mess with it. I can mess with that, dog. Keep it the same. I mean, what other badges? Let me know in the comment section. What other badges would you guys like to see in 2K18? What kind of new badges would you like to see? I mean, I, I think they hit it on the head with the badges on this game. You know what I'm saying? I, I would like to hear more about the archetypes, though. Okay. So NBA 2K18, you guys, I really like the game. I really enjoy it. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. If you like NBA 2K17, you're going to like NBA 2K18, in my opinion, okay? If you like the dribbling in 17, you're going to love the dribbling in 18. It's just harder to abuse, okay? I think most people were kind of, kind of like, when I, I kind of spun their heads around when I said RP dribble gods, there's still going to be dribble heads in the game, just like there's dribble heads almost every single year, but there's not going to be an abuse in stamina meter okay your stamina will be take taken more than uh, than usual okay so that's that's all i really wanted to say let me know how you guys feel in the comment section about the shot meter the um the badges etc let me know what you guys want to talk about next and i'll go into in more detail um nba 2k18 is gonna be nice i think i like i like it personally but as we, as i said before we played a demo version and another thing about you dribble heads was that Tom Lee said something very important was that we dribbled with NBA players, you know, we didn't dribble with my players. So if you have 99 stamina, who knows if your stamina is going to run out quicker than an average NBA player, you know what I mean? But I know when I was using like Chris Paul and Westbrook and, and, and users like that, it was just different, okay? But if you if you are using a mod player, again, I don't know, the only game we played was quick game. We didn't play um, my park my team my career or anything so we don't really know too much about that but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section so 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 guys i'm gonna give you a second what y'all think what you think bro I know, what do y'all think about that man i now you heard what he said though even he spoke through the whole video it's cool and now that I'm watch, I watched the whole video. Remember, this is like a discussion and reaction to the video. You know what I'm saying? We we listening. Um, I believe. Who knows? Still, still, like you can't. Like he said, I I know is dribbling in my team with a original player is different from dribbling with uh, my play with the, my player from dribbling with uh, original NBA superstar. So basically, we found out that they changed charging, basically. They changed that. They changed up some of the animations. They added some animations, animations, and they changed the shot clock. Not the shot clock. The fucking, um, the shot meter, the shot meter. They changed the shot meter, which is, that's cool and all, but at the end, he kind of said something important. What to take away from this video, guys? We don't know what the park is going to look like because dribbling is different in my part versus our original game, bro, where it's all about running plays and controlling the other five people on the court. He didn't say anything about... Uh, well, he tried to uh, elaborate on it, but remember at the end of the video, he said, hey, I, I didn't play my park now, but however... We did, you know, only, only game mode we played was, you know, was, uh, fuck, fuck, what's that game? Quick game, all right? So, it's could be, this could mean a lot. And then, at the end of the video, when he had made the announcement, we only played quick game. It could mean nothing, dog. It could be the exact same shit. Except they, I'm pretty sure they taking out some animations and changing some things. But, uh, let me know in the comment sections what y'all think about this, man. I think, like, when people said that NBA 2K17 was the worst 2K, let me hit you with some stone cold facts, man. Stone cold facts. Real quick, man. I didn't, I, I thought each year 2K has gotten better. 2K17 is the highest rated sports title of all time, bro, with a 9.25 across the board. You understand that? Like, you have to understand these things, though. You can't say the glitches in the game because some of the best games are broke, like Zelda, Mario Kart. They, those games are completely broken, and they got perfect scores, though. If the game is played the way it's intended to be played, 
play NBA 2K17 set benchmarks. You feel me? If you play it the way it's supposed to be played, you know what I'm saying? There's exploits in every video game. NBA 2K, all they need to do really is change a couple up and a couple of animations, update the, um, the graphics. Of course, it's always they always gonna add a couple more pixels here and there and make it look good. You know what I'm saying? Fix the loading times, and I think they have another hit. Just that's, that's just me. But we we're, we're listening to the small changes, and I I cannot disagree, disagree with any of the small changes they have made in NBA to to, to NBA 2K18. I mess with it. Guys, thank y'all for watching, man. Make sure y'all leave the comments down below and make sure you smash that subscribe button, man. Like, share, all that good jazz, man. And I'll see y'all next time, man. God bless, man. Y'all be safe, be easy, and enjoy the rest of y'all day, man. Thanks for watching.